Okay, good morning everyone. So today we will be learning the quarter three week number two, last number three. The title is Adjacent Angles and the Linear Pair. So today we will be learning to derive relationship of geometric figures by inductive reasoning given adjacent angles in a linear pair. So let's, let us define first what are these adjacent angles and linear pairs. So adjacent angles are two angles which have a common sign and a common vertex, but no interior points. Okay, can we look at the example? The first word mentioned was a common sign. So if you have this given, this three rays, it formed, far one. okay, this three rays, it formed an angle, which is, let us name this one as angle one, this one naman is angle two. Okay, now, what is the common side here? From this point up to this line, that is the common side of the two angles. Now, what is the common vertex there? When you say common vertex, it is the end point of every angle form. For angle 1, this is the end point. For angle 2, this is the end point. Now, this is now what you call the common vertex. Common vertex. And this one... The line at the middle or the ray at the middle is called the common side. Okay? So these are the parts of an adjacent angles. Now, we could say that it is an adjacent angles if the two angles are together. In other words, magkatabi sila. And there is an existing common side and a common vertex. If there is no common vertex and common side, we could not say that it is an adjacent angle. Okay? So angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent angles. Take a look at the second figure. The second figure is with a point A, point O, point C, and point B. At this point, what do you think is the common vertex of the second figure? Okay. So with that, let us have identified the common vertex. So we have that figure with point O, point A, point B, and point C. So the common vertex here is point O. This is the common vertex. Allow me to use CB as common vertex. Then the common side is OB. OB is our common side. Common side. So our common side is OB. Now, are they uh, are there uh, are these two formed angles here be called an adjacent angle so let's identify if there is a common vertex and there is a common side therefore we could say that it is an adjacent angle in this case since there is a common vertex and a common side we could say that this one is an example of an adjacent angle okay therefore we could say that angle aob Angle A, O, B, and angle B, O, C are adjacent to each other. Okay? Next, let's have this third figure. For the third figure, there is a straight line, M, P, Q. The points are M, P, and Q. And at point P... There is another line extending to the right with point R at the mid at the end point. Okay. Now, this is the end points of the form figure. We have point M, point Q, point R. Then at the middle we have point P. So this angle and this angle has a point for this for, for angle R P Q. It has a point P at the middle. For angle M, P, R, it has a point P at the middle also. Therefore, they have the same middle point, and that is point P. So therefore, P is now our common vertex. Next, our common side or common ray is point uh, is ray P, R. So this is our common side. Our common side is the ray P, R. Okay, next. Therefore, since there is a common vertex and a common common side, we could say that is it is now an example of an adjacent angle. So what are the examples of not adjacent angles? Take a look at this.
Okay. Look at this figure. We have angle uh, R, O, L, and L, O, Q. These two figures are not adjacent to each other. Why? Because they don't have common vertex. Magkahiwalay po yung dalawang figures. Take note, pag sinabi mong um, adjacent angles, they must go together. Wala po silang co common side at saka common vertex na tinatawag. Dahil meron pong space sa gitna. And this is an example of a not adjacent angle. Next. Let us now go to linear pair. When you say linear pair, these are two adjacent angles whose non-common sides are opposite rays. Okay. When you say linear pair, um, dapat meron siyang adjacent angles. Then at the same time, no common sides are opposite rays. So take a look at this. The first figure, the first figure SEM, with point E at the middle and array EP form a linear pair. Um, when you say pair, there must be um, two angles being formed. We have angle PEM and PES. Okay, linear pair po siya. Then, at the same time, that two angles form a straight line. So, SEM is our straight line here with a point S at the left corner and M at the right corner. Therefore, since it was it formed a straight line, therefore, we could say that, that this is an example of a linear pair. Take a look at this example. This one, sorry, sa figure, magkadugtong po yan. Now, in this case, we have angle COA and COB. Then, it formed, the two angles form a straight line AOB. And these are two different, uh, two the same angles, which I think considered 90 degrees. Okay? And these angles are adjacent to each other. And therefore, since it forms a straight line, therefore, we could say that it is a linear pair. From the word linear, linear, line, meaning nakabuo siya ng isang linya. And take a look at that example. Yung AOB, point A, point O, point B, then ray, point C, it form a straight line. Ano yung straight line dito? Itong line ng A at saka B. Okay? Yan po yung straight line na nabuo. And that is now an example of a linear pair. Next, take a look at this example. We have IP as our ray, point I as our middle or our vertex, SIP as our line. Okay? Now, it form a straight line. The straight line is SIP. Regardless of the position, if it is slanting, going to the left, going to the right, vertical, horizontal, and if it, it form a straight line and has a two adjacent angles or adjacent angles rather, therefore, we could say that it is a linear pair. Okay, so this is an example of a linear pair, a linear pair, a linear pair. This one is not an example of a linear pair. Why? Because it does not form a straight line. Wala po siyang nabuong straight line or 180 degrees from the two given angles. This one is not as a linear pair because it does not form a straight line to form 180 degrees. This one is a linear pair because it forms a straight line to create 180 degrees. When you say straight line, it measures 180 degrees, okay? So those are um, the two different concepts of adjacent angles and linear pair that we will be learning today. So I would like you to answer activity letter C wherein you are going to use the figure at the right to answer the questions. So, at the same time, on letter B, true or false naman yung sasagutan. Okay? So, you are given um, the rest of the time to answer this one. So, goodbye and thank you.